What's up YouTube? That was number five. As you can see, these are the screens you see as your Raspberry Pi 3 is booting up, and this definitely has an impact of your image. It's a great way to customize. You can choose your case, you choose your controllers, you can even now choose your emulation station or track mode themes. So there's a lot of customization you could do, and one thing is intro videos or otherwise known as splash screens. So I want to share with you my top five. Now none of these are mine. I'm going to put links to the original creators in the description below, and if they change, just let me know. I can go ahead and edit the description description but here we go we already saw number five I like number five because it's very basic it shows a loading screen so you know that your load is about to come up it has some retro gaming references on it so all around a cool little theme now let's check out number four So that was number four, Nacho's image boot up screen. Beautiful. I love that it says Nacho's image at the end, so it's very customized to the specific build. The graphics are high quality. It doesn't lag too much on the Raspberry Pi 3, well optimized. It looks gorgeous. The reason why it's not first, second, or third is because it is fairly specific. Uh, if you're not running Nacho's image, you probably wouldn't put this on your image. So that's really where it's getting hurt the most. Next is number three. So that was Phil's Doodles, really cool, goes well with his Retro-Rama theme, as well as it would go well with the comic book theme if you want to have like a consistent look. As you see, it's beautiful, it's just like a Marvel movie starting out, so it's definitely got a really cool look to it. It's very modern looking, It's the music is cool, it slowly ramps up, so it's got a really lot of good elements that you're going to like for your theme. Um, the only reason I wouldn't give this number one is because it is very specific. It's not very broad into emulation station or retro pie. So that was number three, and now number two. So another comic book related theme, including both really retro games to a little newer retro games. Um, beautiful, lots of colors, uh, pretty comprehensive. So for those reasons, I really like it. The other thing is it doesn't lag at all on the Pi. You'll notice I didn't use some of the intro videos out there because they lag just a little bit. Like I don't want any kind of stutter at all in my video once I have it on my Raspberry Pi. And now finally, in number one, we have all over the country, armies of young people are blasting away at invaders from outer space and paying for the privilege. I'll be looking at the electronic game craze, which has not only fascinated the nation, but which has created some interesting problems as well. In 1978, a new Japanese machine appeared on American shores. Although it looked innocent enough, this machine turned out to have some unusual powers. It kept kids mesmerized for hours. Make teenage boys forget about girls 
and even caused business executives to skip the free martini lunch. I chose this one for the final one because it really shows all the systems that, that encapsulate retro gaming, the Raspberry Pi, and it's an evolution. And same thing with the guy talking in the background. It's kind of retro, brings you back to those days. It slowly ramps up. I mean, it's got a great progression. So everything about it just goes with the res Raspberry Pi extremely well. Now, there's a couple other uh, intro videos like this, you know, showing like the characters like Sonic running against you know Mario and all those other things but you know I really like that this is more of the hardware end of it and then once you boot up and you have the theme that's more of the gaming and everything else so I think it's a really good fit now this is just my top five at the moment that I really enjoyed there's a ton out there and I understand that this is very personal choice but I just thought I'd share some with you see what you guys think don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys on the next one and if you want to know how to add these to your Pi, I'll put a link in the description. I did a video on this already, which is how to uh, change and add splash screens to your Raspberry Pi.